In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome color changing text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. So once you load up Adobe Premiere Pro, you first just want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. Then once you have created that sequence, you want to go into Premiere, select the type tool, or you can see the keyboard shortcut is T. Then you want to select on your program video and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Now I'm doing Brooker Films. Now from here, you want to go to the essential graphics window. I'm just going to drag that over here. And if you can't see the essential graphics tab, then you want to go into window. That's at the top. Then you want to go all the way down to essential graphics and make sure there is a tick there. Now, once you've typed out your word or your phrase of choice, you want to go to effect controls. And in graphics, you'll see just on the vector motion, we've got the text Brooker Films. You want to open this up and you want to personalize this. So change the font, change the width, change the height. I'm going for monster at black. I'm going to increase the size of this, center this up. And then of course you just want to make sure this is perfectly centered in the center of your composition. And then you'll end up with something like this. Now I'm just going to drag that text back to the very beginning. And I'm just going to increase the length of that to 10 seconds. This animation, we're going to see a line pop up out of nowhere. It's going to slide across the text, disappear back down. And when it slides, it's going to change the color of the text. So let's go ahead and create that line. So to do that, we're going to go into the project tab, go to the new item button and select black video. Then we'll drag that onto video layer two, extend the width of this, and then we'll go into effects. So you want to go to the effects tab. If you can't find this, then you go to window at the top of Premiere and make sure effects has a tick. Now from there, you just want to go ahead and search for tint, T-I-N-T, drop that onto that newly created black video, go to effect controls, and you want to go tint, matte black two, and we'll change that to a color of your choice. Now I'm going to go for something really bright. Let's go for a nice yellowy orange color. Great. Now we want to decrease the size of this. So you want to go into motion, scale, you want to deselect uniform scale. With that selected, the scale height and width will scale at the same time. But we don't want that. We want a tall but thin box here. So scale height, we're going to pull down to around five, maybe a bit higher. Let's go for seven. Then scale width, we're going to go to one. And as you can see, we're getting close to what we want, but I think the scale height needs to be a touch taller. So let's go for 12, maybe that works. And then as you can see, the scale width is about right. Now you just want to pull the position over to the left. So around here, and then you want to scroll all the way to the beginning, go roughly 10 frames in, create a brand new keyframe on this scale height. Then we're going to go back. Let's go four frames to the left and we'll increase the scale height to 18. Then we'll go maybe six frames to the left and we'll pull that down to zero. And as you can see, that will look something like this. So it's going to pop up and then rest. That looks great. Now we just want to wait maybe half a second to a second. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position. We'll go two or three seconds over to the right and we'll pull the position of that line over to the right. There we go. And then you want to wait another half second. So we'll go half second to the right, brand new keyframe on scale height, and then we'll go six frames to the right and pull that down to zero. So that is the scale height down to zero. Now, if I just render this sequence so that we can properly view this back, you can see it pops up, slides across and then disappears again. Although I would argue that that animation was a bit slow. So I'm just going to go up into this window. This is where the keyframes are. I'm going to select all of these last three points and I'm just going to drag that in. So I'm decreasing that gap. And I'm also going to convert these keyframes to ease in keyframes. Essentially the normal standard keyframe is just going to start moving and then stop moving bang on where those keyframes are. Whereas an ease in is going to slowly accelerate into that. It looks a lot more natural and creates a more fluid animation. So now from here, we want to go ahead and change the color of the text. 
And there's multiple different ways of doing this, but I'm gonna go ahead and create an animation using the tint plugin. So I'm just gonna go into effects. We'll drag tint onto the text layer like so. And when we go back to effect controls, you can see tint is here. Now we are going to map white to, we're gonna select this eyedropper tool and select the yellow. So you can see that's now turned yellow, but obviously we don't want it to turn yellow until the line passes it. So we're just gonna go back onto the black video. We're gonna to go to that first keyframe where the animation starts, go back onto the text layer, and we're gonna go ahead and create a mask on tint just around this box here. Really small box. And then we'll go ahead and create keyframe on mask path. Then we'll go back and see where the animation stopped. So that was here. We'll go back onto the text, go onto mask, mask path, and we're going to increase the size of that mask to follow the line. Now, as you can see, when we play this back, you can see it's a little bit delayed. So we're just gonna go ahead and catch that up. So go halfway through the motion and we'll just move these points over to make sure that it is in time. And you may have to go through, scrub through this frame by frame to make sure that it is exactly where it should be. Make sure the mask follows that line. And now when we play that back, you can see that works perfectly. So we're just gonna render this out one more time. So render into out. And now when we play this back, you can see it pops up, slides across and disappears again. And that is this really cool text animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you wanted to, you could just select both of those layers, right click and select nest. And now that text is nested in its own nested sequence, which means we can adjust the scale. We can adjust the position of everything all in one go and everything will be affected. So if you wanted to add a scale animation, you could go to the beginning, create a keyframe on scale at 83, go to the end on 100. So that's gonna go from that 83 to 100 over the course of 10 seconds. And when we play this back, you'll see that as well as the animation taking place, it's also going to scale up. And that is how you create this really awesome text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there we go. That is the effect now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.